Hello and welcome to another video of the uh, Zone Tool Tips and Tricks series. In this video, I'm going to cover how we, me and Tarek, advise you to handle the moving away from your old setup, your old campaigns, toward a more automated and structured setup uh, that we offer, that is the PGNs. Uh, as you probably know, Amazon builds history between your SKUs and the keywords. So if you are to run both your old campaigns and a PGN setup at the same time, uh, Amazon will keep giving the history of your campaign more weight, hence sending to your old campaigns and old setup most of the impressions and traffic. And you might wanna you might want that, but ultimately if you decided to move to our most structured and automated setup, which is a PGN, that's not what you want because you want to move on a PGN and you want Amazon to switch off the traffic to your campaign and just send it to PGN so that we can automate uh, better than you just manually doing uh, managing your campaigns. So <clears throat> in order to do so without shocking Amazon's system and without the risk of incurring a loss of sales uh, ranking and ultimately profit, the transition from your old setup toward the new PGN setup should be done um, gradually, at least for your best performing um, product, at least for product that you're selling the most. For product and or campaigns which are not performing well, I don't see any reason why you should go through such a uh, the system I'm going to show you. So for a product and campaigns that are not performing well, uh, you can just pause your current setup and start a PGN straight away. But for your best sellers, the product that are bringing in the most of your sales, I would um, I would advise you to trade carefully and possibly follow uh, this process. So um, uh, it's a very simple step-by-step -step process, of low, although it takes about a month. So um, our objective is to uh, make a transition away from your age campaigns in a gradual way toward the new PGN or campaigns without turning off suddenly your old campaigns uh, while giving time to Amazon to build a new history and a new connection and indexing for BPC algorithm between your SKU and the new keywords within the new PGN campaign. So the first step will be to uh, to copy all the uh, all the performing keywords uh, from the old campaign over to a new PGN and create a new PGN. Uh, that's a step two. Using uh, the parameters that we ask you. Uh, if you click here, where you see click here, you will find a video which I show you how to use our threshold builders uh, builder and how to pick more or less uh, the keywords that you should pick for the new PGN. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning, this uh, strategy, which I'm discussing right now in this video, can be found over here, which is www.zone.tools slash switching dash to dash pgn. You will find a link of this uh, in the um, YouTube video, so just check uh, the description below. Um, so yeah, the first two steps is the first one, get all the keywords out of your uh, previous setup, previous campaign. And the second one is using those keywords, set a new PGN with a proper threshold. The first step is just wait for five days. Uh, yes, make sure that whatever the thresholds are, you're bidding a little bit higher than your old setup and you have a little bit higher budget. This is it's gonna be a signal for Amazon already to start to consider your new PGN. Then we're gonna wait for about five days in order to get some time for your new PGN to age. Uh, at these five days you might or might not get uh, impressions and clicks, most likely not because you're competing against the heavier history of a previous setup. But you know this is to get Amazon to know that there's something else going on and to start connecting, making a connection between your uh, SKU and the new PGN and the new keywords. Um, in about five days to a week, you should start gradually to see uh, impression and clicks. At that point, 
what you want to do, you want to start to throttle down your previous campaign. Um, what you want to want to do is uh, decrease over the next period of five days, decrease 5% a day, both your overall bids of the keywords within your own setup, as well as the budget of your setup. Um, after those five days, you reassess, you see what happens. Is the new PGN gaining? Is the new PGN gaining traction, getting more clicks, more impression? Is the old setup, old campaign losing clicks and impression? And is this working out well? Are you overall losing sales, uh, overall sales for your product? Is your ranking getting affected? If all the answers of this are positive and you're happy of what is happening, you're going to spend the next two to three weeks keeping decreasing the budget and the bids of your uh, old campaign. Um, what this is going to do is going to eventually drive your budget and bids very close to zero uh, over time while allowing time to Amazon to get used to your new SKU campaign and PGN setup and moving and letting Amazon move all the sales, uh, all the sales, all the uh, impression clicks to the new PGN. By the third week, at this point, your bid and impression should be very, very close to zero for your old setup and your new PGN should do most of the heavy lifting uh, and it should have taken over all the heavy lifting that your previous campaign used to do. And if that's the case, at this point, you can simply finally pause or archive your old campaign and just keep running the PGNs. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching also this video. Uh, you will see all the resources in the, in the comments, not the comment description of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching again.